uh, managing hedges, the question was what do I do? Um, managing woodland, what do I do? Everyone's fixated on gaining some funding for it. Sometimes take your funding hat off and think what it will deliver for you. I'll caveat that with I'm going to talk about funding first. But in the visitor centre, <coughs> we have a biomass woodchip boiler on the side of it, or a feed on the side of the boiler that heats that visitor centre. Don't ask me about capacity and stuff. The boiler installation cost £28,000. And yes, we were very, very lucky we got RDPE funding to do it. But we basically get free fuel. Uh, Alistair, on my boss's house, he's got a wood chip boiler that feeds his heating in his house. Michael's now got a wood chip boiler. Our neighbouring farmers have got a wood chip boiler. On the farm, we coffee, this is the Royal Week, the former county chairman of the NFU. Copy, we try to copy somewhere between 250 or all that, between 250 and 300 metre of hedge a year. And we do that outside our HLS because we've got over the capital work three years. That provides between six and seven tonnes of wood chip every year. That visitor centre is used every single day of the year and that's enough for half of the heat for that building. That saves us nearly £5,000 a year in oil. And it saves us 13 tonnes in carbon footprint. Why do you need a grant to lay a hedge? Think about where you're going. Why don't you need, what you need is a grant for a wood chip boiler. And then the hedge lay will come naturally because it's better than ordering that tank a load of oil. The other thing we tie that into we are lucky, it's a bit more woodland than you've got, I know, but we manage the woodland around the farm. And we manage it because we're driven to manage it because we have a chute. So all those things work hand in hand. We don't buy any fuel to heat that visitor centre. And we host 4,000 visitors a year, and over half of them are through the winter months. We're not bothered about calorific value, so we don't have to go and get pellets imported from Canada. We're not too bothered about its moisture content. All we're bothered about is that it burns every day and keeps the visitor centre warm. And that's all you'll be bothered about. So don't always get hung up on thinking about the grant for the trees and the timber itself. Think about the wider business <coughs> benefit. And for those farmers amongst you, and those of you that advise farmers, how many of your clients have diversified by Restoring the farmyard, turning a barn into a holiday cottage, and they put a flipping oil fire boiler in it. Ah! You could have done. You could have got the grant for the boiler. Just very quickly, Jim. The tail end of the grant. It's. Um, I don't know the full details, but I can put in touch with people is through Leader. And if you've yep. got existing um, fuel systems, don't pay for new systems. Don't pay for oil. If you've got an existing renewable heat source, there is a very small amount of grants available to extend what you're doing to other buildings. So if you've got it in one building and you want to put it into another building, there is a grant that's only available for a couple of months. Yeah. It's available now. If you if that, you think that might benefit you, well, we'll be Good tip. To but I think the, the thing is that don't always think about this in, in, in the one box that we usually think about it. And sometimes you can actually do it without a grant scheme because it makes commercial, it makes actually valuable sense to your business and your farm to do it. When we chip in, the other thing we do, it keeps saying we, I'm sure Phil's listening around the corner. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name in Grantham, but we hire, <coughs> we don't hire a little mobile chipper, it's a massive great big chipper. It comes and it works around four farms for a day and it chips 90 tonnes. And we leave all the managed timber on site in the woodland, on the edge of the woodland, or the, the hedge cut it, the hedge brush in the field. He goes there and then we haul it back. And it's nine, they'll chip 90 tonnes in a day. How much does it cost to buy? About two grand. That, that works out at something like £15 a tonne. So, you know, just think wide about what you're doing and how you're doing it's my tip. And you'll get the wildlife benefits, you'll get the landscape benefits, you'll get everything that everyone wants out of it. You'll get a rejuvenated hedge. It's just about thinking slightly different. <coughs> okay? Well,